Welcome to the unboxing, the what's in the box, looking at what's in the box of the expansion for the game Robinson Crusoe. This expansion is called Voyage of the Beagle. So as you can see there down the bottom, expansion for Robinson Crusoe Adventures on the Cursed Island, Z-Man Games. I like that old look that you've got there. It's like old black and white picture. And we saw that on the actual Robinson Crusoe board game and there's an unboxing on this channel. Have a look at that to see what's in the box there. Let's look at the top side. So we've got that old sort of look that runs all the way around the corners. So it looks like an old book coming here and we can see the spine of the book here. Uh, Voyage of the Beagle Volume 1. So I assume that there might be some more expansions that hopefully on the book, on the board game shelf will look nice together. Maybe Volume 2, Volume 3 is what I'm expecting. So on the back, on the base, we have a little bit of a blurb about um, the background for this expansion, how to play it, a little bit of background on uh, what you'd expect in, the, I guess, the, the play style. You can see in this box you'll find five new scenarios, is what it says, and it's got the box contents. And again, just uh, letting you know there that it's a one to four person a game, about two hours long. I don't know how this expansion adds to the base game. I haven't played the base game. On the inside of the cover, no more, pr nothing else has been printed. We get a shiny glossy rule book voyage of the beagle rule book that you see there uh, smallish half a4 size folded it is uh, 22 23 24 pages long including that back cover and again we get that sort of like feeling that maybe you're darwin on the voyage of the beagle of course the beagle was uh, the ship that uh, darwin was on charles darwin a uh, very famous person in uh, biological fields uh, we've got the components overview that is there, all the components that you get in this expansion. So quite a few new things, new cards that you get in here. Uh, distance on the island, so we've got that there, a bit of an example there of a gameplay, I guess. Campaign rules, so again, this is a campaign, uh, um, campaign board game. Darwin character, it doesn't have to be played as a campaign though, so we've got the Darwin character. We have scenario one, which is there, scenario two, scenario three. So all double-sided, scenario three goes on to another couple of pages, and even one more. Then we get scenario four in red on that right side. Continuing with scenario four into scenario five, which is there, introduces disease and beach cards and the Darwin tokens. And then we get playing a random scenario. So obviously you can play them randomly. They don't have to follow one another. Universal components that are there. And then the final back page. Let's have a look at what you get in the box here, this expansion. So a whole lot of cardboard tokens that you can see there. And again, the person that I got this from uh, on Facebook Marketplace secondhand has put them all in here nicely. So we get uh, wooden tokens there, you can see those, but a plastic dice at the end here. But all the rest are cardboard tokens. So you can see there's a picture of Darwin right there. So a lot of tokens that you can see there. In this bag, I'll get this one open actually. So we get these tokens, and I don't know what they're, it's like a ship. Going left or right by the looks of it, one way or the other. We get these tokens. So that's where you get on one side. Two, two, three. Two. So they look all the same with the same back. And then we get in here these, which go on top of something, on top of a boat by the looks of it. Minimum and maximum. We've got one, two, three. Four, so different parts of the boat as well, five and six going along the boat by the looks of it. I'm going to put those over there, put, put them next to the plastic bag they came in. Now for the cards, so you can see what's in this expansion. The different cards, they have been sleeved. So 36 by VOT, VOT, VO plus B maybe, VOT B cards. Looking at, oh, okay, it's going to be interesting. Mast, I'll turn them over to go through them quickly. Mast, mast reparation. See crow's nest, 
Darwin's cabin is laboratory. Cannons with the nets. Rudder with all, all reparation. Uh, we had main hold with the chests. Fore hold with the tools. I'll put those just there. So we've got all these question mark cards again. Looking at these, we have scientists in sanity, the naturalist in trouble, uh, mistake in the studies, Darwin's crisis of faith, excessive courage, and Darwin disappears. That's those greenish question mark cards. We have some, looks like first aid cards, I'm going to suggest. We have a diarrhea, migraine, stomach ache, dizziness, and weakness. So not first aid, but rather um, problems that you'd have health-wise. We have a hydrographic survey mission card. That's there, the risk of building. And then we have uh, more hydrographic survey mission cards, different colors, two more. So we have a spyglass, which is risk of exploring. And then we have the risk of gathering. So that was a gather one. And I do remember seeing something similar uh, in the main game. Again, look at that unboxing what's in the box on this channel. The rest of these cards, we have this sort of like fern leaf background and then this other single green leaf background. Let's go with the fern leaf backgrounds first. Oh, that's interesting. More fern leaf on that side. So fern leaf background. Well, that's a different background there for those two. I have no idea what these cards do. So I guess you get them maybe as a, a means of exploring or taking samples, uh, a way to note how many you have. And a green leaf background, that's there. They are all the same. And on this side, however, we have writing, angel trumpet, manchineal, pitcher plant, tremor root, glutton plant, sundew, and black lotus. So a few different plants that we have there. Okay, so let's put these all away. So that's all of the new cards that we get. I think that was more or less the order roughly. What else do we get here? We get, oh, this is very interesting. See that there, spiral bound book. Differently put, I like that. And again, I, I love the pictures or the uh, artwork, sorry, that's on it. So we've got something there's 4KP per collection. Don't know what that means. But let's have a look at this. So this is for scenario one. Got something going on there. So I guess you open this up and use these trackers on the right side of this spiral bound book. We've got scenario two. We have scenario three there. So we saw the hydrographic survey mission cards. And we've got, oh, we've got a seal. Seal there with a three on it. So I'm gonna guess the seals represent the scenario. Nice firm card, this. So yep, there's that seal with the four and scenario four tribal island that is there. And finally, Scenario five, homeward bound, and there's that five seal. So you put that on the board like that and use these somehow. I don't know how, but we'd use them somehow. And then at the very back, we have this so campaign KP. I don't know what KP stands for. Similar to victory points, I'm sure. One to 18, there we go. Uh, so if you get these KPs, then I think you get uh, a certain rank that you see here in terms of how well you did up to captain if you get 78 points. So there you go, very nice, I like that. We have here a Charles Darwin card. Now we saw on the other cards of the main game, we had a male and female version. I don't think you can do that on this one, unfortunately, because Charles Darwin is a man. But there we have uh, the same on both sides there by the looks of it, although, yep, I reckon that's the same on both sides. Uh, we have this card here. So this is a scenario card. They've got scenario three at the top there. We have scenario four there. That's the tribes table. This is table of encounters here. And tipping this one over, 
we have, this is our new board. I think we saw bits and pieces, one, two, three, four, five. We saw them a bit earlier on. Here they are over here. These tokens here, so there's one that goes, would go there, I imagine. You can see how that, that fits or looks the same. I assume it will go on the board, but I don't know. If it goes like that, maybe? I don't know, minimum, maximum. Uh, and that's the same on both sides anyway. So there's one board that you can see there on the reverse. So this is HMS Beagle S3. HMS Beagle, so there might be scenario. Scenario two for that side. And then scenario three for that side. Getting this last board, which is black on that side. And we have tribe secrets, carnivorous plants, shoals, rare beasts, unique resources, and fossils there. So yeah, they're, they're nice cardboard um, mats as well for the game. And that is everything that you get in the expansion for Robinson Crusoe Adventures on the Cursed Island, the expansion called Voyage of the Beagle. Lots of goodies in there to extend that Robinson Crusoe game. So I hope you enjoyed that, looking at that so you can see what you get in this box uh, to decide maybe on whether to get it if you've got Robinson Crusoe already. Now you can see the little goodies, the extras that you get that you can play with in that original board game. So thank you for joining, joining me. Please uh, hit the like button if you found this helpful. Also subscribe, that helps me produce more of these what's in the box slash unboxing videos, depending if they're brand new and shrink or whether I've got them from someone else and I'm confident that everything is in the box like I am with everything that I show here. Uh, and also share it with your friends uh, or family, uh, whoever uh, might be interested in looking at this sort of stuff. Uh, my name is Lamont. Thank you very much for joining me. Signing off now. Bye-bye.